All right, we are joined with one of the newest Los Angeles Chargers, Kyle Van Oy. Kyle, how's it uh, been coming to L.A.? How are you feeling out here? Uh, honestly, it's been like home. Uh, the people around the building, like you guys yourself, have been very welcoming. Everybody's been amazing. Um, everything's been sweet so far. I can't complain. What is it like uh, making the adjustment, come to a new team? I mean, how hard is that to adjust? You know, this is my fourth organization, so I, I'm getting used to it. I wouldn't say I'm a journeyman, that's for sure, by any means. Uh, but I would say I have understand how the ropes go by now and try to just come in and not step on any toes, be respectful, and just show people who I am by the way I work and by the way I am on the field and off the field. I think, too, just reaching out to guys, getting to know them, uh, having their wives and my wife hang out, just become as close as we can and just hang out and catch those vibes where we're just ready, we're in this together and know where everyone's coming from. And, you know, we might be from different backgrounds, different religions, all that, but we all can work together, respect each other and get along to reach the goal that we want to get to. And not only are you a veteran in this league, but if I do say so myself, you're quite a stud too. What, <laughs> what are you going to add to this defense, <laughs> That's funny. man? Uh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, I think I'm going to add a lot. A, a lot. Uh, I think I feel like I'm. I, they've been missing a piece like myself. I, you know, I don't want to make my head too big because it's already. I already have a big head. Uh, but it's it's more just. I think I'm the perfect fit, fit for what they need. Obviously, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I have weaknesses uh, in my game that I want to work on and grow on. But uh, it's a perfect situation for me, and I think hopefully a perfect situation for them. Uh, to keep me up for the long haul. I, I hope to retire here, you know, those thinking down the road. But for now, I just want to uh, show what my worth is on the field and in the locker room, uh, try to get the young guys up to speed as best as possible and just bring in that championship mindset. And how cool is it going to be that you get to play with some other talented players on that defense? And what's that going to look like for you? I mean, there's a lot of talent on this defense, but obviously there's only, you know, one guy to tackle at a time. But what is that going to look like for all you guys? Yeah, that, that's a good question slash statement. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of good players, but I think the good players can only go so far if you just show up. We got to put the work in. And I think the group of guys know that. I think it's going to be a challenge to get – on the field, uh, everybody's going to be scratching and crawling to get on the field because of the opportunities to play with such uh, great players that we have, and that's exciting. It's exciting for uh, the Chargers family for sure to have competition at each and every spot, and I think the more and more we get on the field and the more and more we get after it, the more and more we will get better. So I think right now just focus on getting better. I think I said that way too many times. <laughs> it sounded great to me. Good sound bite. Yeah, good yeah, sound bite. Yeah, great sound bite. Can we mark that one? Uh, like I know you're new here and all that, but uh, what do you think it takes for this team to get over the hump? Obviously, you know they missed out on the postseason. All the talent in the world, but yet haven't gone to this postseason. Uh, what do you think it takes to get there? You know, I think they learned a lot from last season from talking to some players and getting to know them on a personal level, and I think really just. Uh, it comes down to just focusing on one game and, you know, not going too far. I'm not saying they did, but the last game came down to one game. And I think if your preparation is that the whole way through, I think you, you can continue to focus on that one game. You don't have to say, well, what if this situation happens and this situation happens, you know, we get in. We don't want to do that. We want to take care of the Raiders the first game. It's going to be a very competitive game and a competitive environment here at SoFi. And I think we just got to do our best to be able to limit what they do on offensively since they got a really good offense and, you know, focus on what we do. And, you know, we want to be the hammer this year. Uh, we want to bring it to people we want to get off to fast starts and play uh, just very crisp football, uh, complimentary, good offense. We have special teams are getting better in defense. Uh, we know what we have, but we just got to put those pieces together during training camp and practice for that week one. Um, just one final question for you before we let you go. 
how much better did this defense get? You guys bring in Khalil, yourself, JC. I mean, all of a sudden, you, there's a bunch of stars on this defense yeah. to add to the Derwins and those guys. Yeah. I just hope not to have it finished like they were last year. That's, that's all I want to do. I just want to improve uh, the defense and improve my game. And then ho hopefully that will turn over and carry over to team wins. Uh, okay, well said. I know I talked about it. I got one more. Oh, okay, okay, I got one more for him now. I got one more. You talked about you. You wanted to be the one to finish <laughs> last, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't, can't have the glory. You talked kidding. about how you've been to a couple different franchises now. I mean, what stands out to you about this one that's a little different? You know, this one, um, it, I would say this one that stands out the most is it's growing at a fast pace. Uh, the standard's been set, set excuse me. And everybody's working to that standard. It starts from the top down. Coach Staley's done a really, really good job, and kind of everyone's feeding off of his energy and what he brings to the table. And you can just see it trickle from uh, the guys in the equipment room to the people that are working in the uh, behind the scenes that you may not hear about. It, everybody feels that vibe, that positive energy, and that goal in mind, of which. You know, everybody knows what it is, but we're working towards that. Awesome. All right, Kyle. Yeah, awesome. Thank go, uh, you. Go get him this year, huh? Yeah, Appreciate you so it. Much, guys. It'll be a lot yeah. of fun to watch you out there, man. Yeah.